Hey, what are you cooking? Boston Market Chicken Parmesan. Can I have some? No. Oh, okay. No parm, no foul. Today, I will be reviewing Boston Market Chicken Parmesan. It looks like it's got a little bit of spaghetti there. It's probably gonna be a big chicken nugget. It says all white meat. So for nutrition, 480 calories, 14 grams of fat. Not bad, not bad. It's got a ton of sodium. 980 mg, 41% of daily value. So quite salty, and but 21 grams of protein. So salty, uh, not too bad, but very salty. The instructions, remove tray from carton, cook on high for four minutes, stir and recover, cook again on high for three to three and a half minutes. Let's stand one to two minutes all. So this is gonna take like 10 minutes to make. And then it has a conventional oven instructions, but uh, microwave. Well, you can't really see anything. Okay, so we've got one chicken piece right here and then a bunch of pasta with some sauce. I'll go cook this up for the whatever, be back in however long, be back. I have returned. Here is the completed dish. Here is the box. First off, this whole like cheese Parmesan thing going on on the chicken thingy. Yeah, that's it, that's not happening here. This is what we got for the chicken thingy. There's no like nice pizza-y type thing going on. It's got some red marinara, I guess, sauce on it. That's about it. I will say it's very hot, it's steaming, and then that kind of burns my eyes. The plastic was also stuck on very hard and it had a lot of water on it. Be very careful when taking the plastic off because it is a hazard. I'm kind of disappointed in the amount of spaghetti here. This is roughly the amount of spaghetti. This is the chicken. Let's have some of the chicken. So it's okay, it's kind of thin. I think it's a giant chicken nugget. It might not be, but it tastes quite similar to a chicken nugget. It's okay, the sauce and breading kind of overrule the chicken nugget taste a little bit. It's got a, a kind of weird uniform texture type thing going on. I think the breading is ever so slightly spicy and you can sort of taste the pepper. Okay, so on second thought, I think this tastes like a chicken nugget with spaghetti sauce on it. Uh, the breading is okay, slightly spicy, but I think this is just a giant chicken nugget with marinara chicken parmesan sauce on it. It's not bad, but I won't say that it's great. Yeah, it kind of feels like processed meat too. All right, let's have some of the spaghetti. Spaghetti. So with the spaghetti, the spaghetti is kind of interesting. The noodles seem thicker than I'm used to, and they're kind of doughy. Yeah, they're cut up into small length segments, and it's very kind of thick and doughy noodles. Uh, the sauce is okay. I think there's a hint of cheese, but there's definitely a lot not as much cheese as this. With my unprofessional eye, if I didn't notice that the box had a bunch of cheese on it, I probably wouldn't be able to tell that there was much cheese in this. It tastes kind of like typical tomato sauce stuff, maybe slightly tangier, if that makes sense. And the texture of the sauce is kind of pasty. It's not great. It's not terrible, but I'm not a huge fan. The meat here is just one big chicken nugget. At least that's what it kind of tastes like. And the pasta is okay pasta, but it's kind of like, of all the pasta I, I've had, it ranks pretty low. Not a huge fan of this dish. The sauce is kind of whatever too. It's all, feels like a fancier McNugget, like a really fancy McNugget, like a gourmet McNugget. I guess I'll, I'll go, go with that. It's like a gourmet McDonald's McNugget with spaghetti that's, uh, you know, McNugget quality. Anyway, thank you for watching Boston Market Chicken Parmesan. Wait a second, I didn't rate it. Boston Market Chicken Parmesan gets a four. It's like a gourmet McNugget with pasta that's worthy of a McNugget. Thank you for watching. See ya. Welcome to the outro. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.
Well, we look at this graph, look at how many of my viewers are unsubscribed. Okay, now that that whole trash is over with, I wanted to say I actually made money for once in my life a few days ago. My mom brought home a laptop from work and it wasn't working. She said she like bumped it or something and then it didn't turn on anymore. So I, my genius, dropped it and it immediately started working. Easiest money I've made. Very nice. Anyway, I thought I'd share that story. Uh, I fixed my mom's work laptop by dropping it. Percussive maintenance, the best type of maintenance. Anyway, thank you for watching. See ya.